Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Lancool PCK9. In this case, it's the K9B case. It's an all black, all aluminum case. Now, as you can see, the box is not much to look at. This is pretty much what you get. This is on the other side. This is on the other side, but it gives you the information that you need if you are picking this up in store. If, of course, you are grabbing this online, well, you'll have lots of other pictures and more information to look at. As you can see here, the box comes with a couple of straps around it. Straps removed, so I'll open the box up. This is a fairly large case, so I'll open it from the bottom. And then I'll swing it up and slide the box off. Before I do, just have a peek here. Typical case packaging material, styrofoam on either end, and the case itself is in a plastic bag. There we go. And pull it off. Need to be Hercules sometimes with heavy cases. Okay, styrofoam. Remove it. Case bag, which is taped. Quite nice. Like we have all kinds of information here. Installation guide. Also, like a sheet here with all kinds of other products on it. Let's remove this from the bag and have a closer look. Now this, as I mentioned before, is an all aluminum case. Oh, how I love all aluminum cases. And this one is not going to break the bank. That's good news if you're looking for an all aluminum case because they are usually pretty expensive. You can see here the overall design. Well, it is quite nice. It is both stylish, simple, and elegant. You have a curved front bezel also you have no windows, no fans, nothing on either side of the case. Some people like that, some people do not. But if you're looking for this simple kind of stylish, elegant design, this just might be for you. At the front of the case, you've got three five and a quarter inch drive bays, lots of ventilation here. This is for those two front Fans, there's very little at the top except for two USB ports, which you can't see, so I'll show you. <laughs> two USB 3 ports. Also here, there's a microphone jack and headphone jack. This just pops right back into place. There's also a power button and reset button up here. Here at the front, at the top right hand corner is a couple of LEDs. The top one is for power and the one below it is for hard drive activity. Removing this front panel is, well, almost as simple as breathing. You just pull at the bottom. It simply pops right off. I love front panels that are this easy to remove. Look at this, you've got two large 140 millimeter fans and they've included removable dust filters. Just push in here and take it off. Wash it, clean it, whatever, and then put it back on again. Now, if you want to install a five and a quarter inch drive, which you probably will, all you need to do is push on either side of the drive bay cover. Really, these are kind of like drive bay fillers in a way. Just push and they come right out. Just like that, put them back. Push on either side, pop it back into place. See these two screws? Well, there's two more at the back, so if you want to remove the top panel, you can. At the back of the case is a 120 millimeter fan. Now this is an exhaust fan, and the two at the front, by the way, intake cool air, so you've got cool air being pulled in at the front and exhausted at the back. Note that all the fans here have rubber grommets or washers on them. This is fantastic no pun intended, because it cuts down on the vibration. Also, two holes here. These grommets are in them, and that's for routing cables and or tubes, water cooling tubes through. Here's where the motherboard's IO shield plate gets installed. There are eight 
ventilated expansion slots. Are there eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can count. Wow. At the bottom is where a standard ATX power supply gets installed. There are two thumb screws on each side panel, and you can lock the left side panel. You know, to keep those people you don't want, keep them out. Inside the case, there was this box, and inside this box, there was this stuff, a power supply holder, lots of other things to mount drives in the case, cable ties, and the speaker. Oh, and this, a USB cable. Now, let's have a closer look inside the case. Now, don't start crying because it's not black on the inside. Not everyone wants a case that's black on the inside. Who cares anyway? Because, well, there's no windows on either side of this case. There's no fans, there's no mesh, there's nothing. You can't see inside of the case. It doesn't really matter, does it? Unless, of course, you're looking at the case from the back. And then you'll see that it's not black. Kind of cooler to have a case that's black on the outside and black on the inside. But, like I said, it's not a big deal. Okay, now that you've gotten over the shock that the inside of this case is not black, I'll continue. This case fits micro ATX and standard ATX motherboards. The motherboard tray, unfortunately, is not removable, but it does have this gorgeous hole on it. That's for removing the cooler's retention plate, and that is an enormous time saver. There's also a couple of holes here and there to route cables through. There is a fair amount of space behind the motherboard tray to route those cables. Now you can fit a number of drives in this case as I mentioned before you can fit three external five and a quarter inch drive base at the top right here and note the toolless design for two of them you can fit up to six internal three and a half inch drives and up to four two and a half inch drives and note that these drive bay cages are removable. Now at the bottom is where the power supply gets installed and note these rubber rests for the power supply to lodge on. Now if you ever could get excited about installing or removing cars in the expansion slots, and I know I have, you can especially get excited when you have a toolless design like this. If you want to remove a card, flip it open. Remove it. If you want to install a card, flip it back. See how easy that is? Now, what size video card or video cards can you fit in this case? Well, you have two options. If you keep this hard drive cage in, you have around 290, maybe 280 millimeters. 290 is on, you know, the outside limit. It's pretty close to this. So I'd say 280 millimeters. If, however, you remove this hard drive cage, you have up to 410 millimeters. At the bottom of the case, there are four rubber feet. There's also a dust filter, and it is removable for the power supplies fan. Finally, have a listen to the stock cooling. Now, there's no mistaking, this is a gorgeous looking case. It has amazing fit and finish, has all the features you should be looking for in a mid-sized tower case. However, to keep the cost down, the interior is not black and they do not include a removable motherboard tray. Now, I mentioned before that this is an all aluminum case. That is not all true, but the outside is aluminum. The front panel, the side panels, and the top panel, they are all aluminum. The interior isn't. However, all things considered, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.